Dive into the world of dividends, an integral part of the investment landscape. These financial rewards are more than just a nice bonus for investors. They are a portion of a company's earnings, distributed to those who've placed their faith and funds in its success. Just like slicing a pie, a company decides to share a piece of its profit with its investors. This slice, my friends, is what we call a dividend. It's a tangible return on your investment, a token of trust from the company to you, its investor. But dividends are not just a source of income, they also serve as a powerful indicator of a company's financial health. A regular increasing dividend is a sign of a thriving business, one that's confident in its future growth. Now let's turn our attention to a man who has mastered the art of dividends, Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett, a name synonymous with success in the investment world, began his journey with dividends at a young age. Born during the Great Depression, Buffett didn't have a silver spoon in his mouth. He was the son of a stockbroker, and perhaps it was this early exposure that sparked his fascination with the stock market. At the tender age of 11, Warren Buffett made his first investment. He bought three shares of City Service Preferred for $38 each, for both himself and his sister Doris. When the stocks dropped, young Warren held on. And when they rose to $40, he sold. But soon after the shares skyrocketed to $200. This early experience taught him the importance of patience in investing. But let's not forget about dividends. Buffett began to receive dividends from his investment in City Service Preferred. This was his first taste of earning money without having to work for it. The concept mesmerized him. He realized that his money could work for him, even while he slept. To put it into perspective, imagine you're a young boy in the mid-20th century. You've just started to understand money, how hard one has to work to earn it. And suddenly, you're introduced to a concept where your money can multiply without you having to lift a finger. It's like magic, isn't it? This was the magic that Buffett discovered. Dividends became an integral part of his investing strategy from then on. He understood the power of dividends, the power of passive income. He realized that by investing in dividend-paying stocks, he could receive a steady income stream. And this income stream could be used to buy more shares, which in turn would increase his dividend income, creating a powerful compounding effect. This early experience set the stage for Buffett's lifelong strategy with dividends, it was a simple yet powerful lesson on the importance of patience, the power of compounding and the magic of dividends. Berkshire Hathaway, Buffett's primary investment vehicle, has a unique approach to dividends. Unlike many other companies, Berkshire Hathaway under the stewardship of Warren Buffett has historically not paid dividends to its shareholders. Instead, the company chooses to reinvest its profits back into the business or to acquire other businesses in pursuit of further growth. This approach might seem unconventional, especially when you consider that dividends are a common way for companies to share their success with shareholders. However, it's important to understand that this decision is a reflection of Buffett's broader investment philosophy. Buffett has always been a proponent of long-term investing. He believes in the power of compounding interest and the idea that the value of a company lies in its ability to generate future profits. By not paying dividends, Berkshire Hathaway is able to retain and reinvest all of its earnings, which in turn, can create more value for shareholders in the long run. This approach also gives Buffett the flexibility to make large investments when he sees opportunities. In fact, some of Berkshire Hathaway's most successful investments like those in Apple and Coca-Cola, were made possible because of this cash reserve. It's also worth noting that Buffett's stance on dividends is not a blanket policy. He has invested in many companies that do pay dividends. His investment decisions are based on the individual merits of each company and whether he believes they can generate good returns over time. In essence, Buffett's approach to dividends at Berkshire Hathaway is less about the dividends themselves and more about creating long-term value for shareholders. His strategy reflects a deep belief in the power of compounding, the importance of patience, and the value of investing in businesses that can deliver consistent, sustainable growth. Buffett's approach to dividends at Berkshire Hathaway is a testament to his unique investment philosophy. It's a philosophy that has made him one of the most successful investors in the world and a guiding star for many who wish to follow in his footsteps. Buffett's approach to investing in dividend-paying companies is both strategic and insightful. When it comes to selecting these companies, Buffett doesn't merely focus on the highest yield, Instead, he takes a comprehensive approach, considering various factors that contribute to the long-term value of the investment. Firstly, Buffett prefers companies that have a strong competitive advantage, or what he often calls an economic moat. These are businesses that have unique attributes, 
making it difficult for competitors to replicate their success. These attributes could be a strong brand, proprietary technology, or cost advantages. For example, a company like Coca-Cola with its globally recognized brand and secret recipe fits perfectly into this category. Secondly, Buffett emphasizes the importance of consistent earnings. Unlike many investors who chase after high-growth high-risk companies, Buffett is a fan of predictability. He favors businesses that generate a steady stream of earnings year after year, providing a reliable source of dividends. Companies in sectors such as consumer goods, utilities, and healthcare often meet this criterion. Moreover, Buffett is not averse to investing in so-called boring companies if they have a track record of steady performance and reliable dividends. This is because he understands that the power of compounding dividends can be a significant driver of wealth over the long term. In addition, Buffett also considers the company's payout ratio. This is the percentage of earnings a company pays out as dividends. If the ratio is too high, it might indicate the company is not reinvesting enough back into the business, potentially compromising future growth. On the other hand, a low payout ratio may suggest room for future dividend increases. Lastly, Buffett looks at the company's debt levels. Companies with high debt levels may struggle to maintain their dividend payments, especially during economic downturns. In conclusion, Buffett's selection of dividend-paying companies is not based on a single factor or a simple formula. Instead, it is a combination of several considerations, each contributing to the overall investment thesis. Buffett's selection of dividend-paying companies reflects his commitment to long-term value investing. Reinvesting dividends has been a cornerstone of Buffett's investment strategy. This investment mogul has always emphasized the importance of plowing back the dividends earned into buying more shares of the company, but why? Let's delve into it. Reinvesting dividends is like a snowball rolling down a hill. As it rolls, it picks up more snow, becoming larger and faster. Similarly, when you reinvest your dividends, you're essentially buying additional shares of the company, which in turn generate their own dividends. This creates a compounding effect, where the returns earned on your initial investment start earning returns of their own. Over time, this can significantly accelerate the growth of your investment portfolio. Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha, is a big believer in the power of compounding. He has often quoted his mentor Benjamin Graham saying, The magic of compounding returns is the royal road to riches. Buffett's investment in Coca-Cola is a textbook example of this strategy. He initially invested in the company in the late 1980s, and instead of cashing out the dividends, he reinvested them. Today, his investment in Coca-Cola has grown exponentially, thanks to the power of compounding. Buffett's strategy of reinvesting dividends isn't about quick gains, it's a long-term strategy, and it requires patience. But as Buffett himself has said, someone's sitting in the shade today because someone planted a tree a long time ago. This strategy is about planting those financial trees that will provide shade in the future. Of course, it's important to remember that not every company is worth reinvesting dividends into. Buffett chooses companies with a competitive advantage, reliable earnings, and a history of paying stable or increasing dividends. His mantra is to invest in businesses he understands and believes in. In conclusion, reinvesting dividends is a powerful strategy that can greatly enhance the growth of your investment portfolio. It's about understanding the power of compounding, having patience, and choosing the right companies. Buffett's dividend reinvestment strategy has played a significant role in his phenomenal investment success. There's much to learn from Buffett's approach to dividends. When we peel back the layers of Buffett's dividend strategy, a few key lessons emerge. The first is the importance of investing in stable, profitable companies. Buffett doesn't chase after the latest hot stock or trendy startup. Instead, he looks for businesses with a proven track record of profitability and stability. These are the types of companies that can afford to pay regular dividends to their shareholders. Another lesson from Buffett's playbook is the power of reinvesting dividends. When a company pays a dividend, you have the option to take the cash or reinvest it by buying more shares. Buffett has often chosen the latter. This strategy allows you to benefit from the magic of compound interest. When you reinvest your dividends, you're essentially buying more shares without spending any additional money. Over time, this can significantly increase the size of your investment and the amount of dividends you receive. Buffett's approach also underscores the value of patience. Investing in dividend-paying companies isn't about making a quick buck. It's about building wealth over the long term. 
Buffett has held on to many of his investments for decades, allowing the dividends to compound and grow. Finally, Buffett teaches us to think of dividends as a measure of a company's health. A company that consistently pays dividends is likely managing its cash well and generating steady profits. Conversely, a company that cuts or eliminates its dividend may be experiencing financial difficulties. By focusing on dividends, Buffett is able to gauge the financial health of a company and make informed investment decisions. So, whether you're a seasoned investor or just getting started, there's much to glean from Buffett's dividend strategy. It's not about chasing high yields or quick profits but about making smart, patient investments in solid companies. It's about understanding the power of dividends and the magic of compound interest. And it's about using dividends as a tool to assess a company's financial health. Buffett's approach to dividends offers valuable insights for both novice and experienced investors. Warren Buffett's journey with dividends provides a roadmap for successful investing. This phrase sums up the essence of what we've explored in our journey through the world of dividends, as experienced by one of the greatest investors of our time. We began this exploration with a look at Buffett's early journey with dividends. We saw a young investor, not much older than many of you might be, beginning to understand the power of dividends. Buffett didn't just jump in head first, he dedicated time to understand the intricacies of dividends, the companies that offer them, and the potential they hold for long-term wealth creation. We then delved into Buffett's relationship with Berkshire Hathaway and the role dividends played in shaping this iconic company. Berkshire Hathaway is a testament to the power of careful, calculated investment in dividend-paying companies. It's a testament to the power of patience and the magic of compounding. From there we took a closer look at Buffett's approach to investing in dividend-paying companies. It's not just about the dividends, it's about the company as a whole. It's about their business model, their management, their competitive advantage, and their potential for long-term growth. Buffett understands that dividends are a part of the bigger picture, and he never loses sight of that. We then explored Buffett's dividend reinvestment strategy, a strategy that is widely recognized and respected in the investment world. By reinvesting dividends, Buffett effectively leverages the magic of compounding, allowing his wealth to grow exponentially over time. The lessons from Buffett's dividend strategy are invaluable. They teach us the importance of patience, of discipline, of understanding. They remind us that successful investing isn't about quick wins, it's about long-term growth and stability. So as we conclude our journey, let's remember the key points about Buffett's approach to dividends. Let's remember how this approach has contributed to his success as an investor. And let's remember that, with patience, discipline, and a keen understanding of dividends, anyone can follow in Buffett's footsteps to achieve investment success.